A very good morning, good evening and good afternoon, uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I don't know where it is that you're tuned on to the Life as Signatures podcast and I don't know what it is that you brought you to this place. But this is a, a daily show where we normally talk about purpose, productivity and resilience and whatever place it is that you are. I do hope that uh, these episodes are making you be instructed of life, be instructed of purpose. Be instructed of things that matter the most to you. And uh, even as you continue listening, it's my prayer, it's my wish, it's my desire, and that's why I do this, that you will be empowered, you will be teached, you will be teached, you will be taught, and you will be instructed. We are in the middle of a series. We're talking about this topic of the 19 powerful life nuggets from Mike Tyson's interview with Joe Rogan. We've done quite a bit. And uh, we are continuing. It's quite instructive that uh, we do this. Uh, in the year 2020, thereabouts, I came across that interview, a two-hour interview that Joe Rogan had with my own, Iron Mike Tyson. And um, as I was listening to it, I downloaded quite a bit of nuggets, and I just wanted to share those with you. We started doing that previously, maybe five episodes back. Today, let us continue, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The past two days have been very interesting because we narrowed down onto one powerful life nugget from Iron Mike Tyson. And we talked about that. We say that, okay, let me just do a, a, a full recap first of all. Number one, the nugget number one is internal fear can be unfounded. Internal fear can cause us to to be paralyzed and not to do the things that we're supposed to do. So we're supposed to deal with the internal fear. And you can see that this is Mike Tyson talking about internal fear. This is a world, former world heavyweight champion. He's talking about fear. This thing doesn't discriminate who you are. Even with the best of the best, there is that element of fear. And the most successful of us are the ones who are able to go into that internal fear And just conquer it. Look at, stare at at it in the face and conquer it. Stare it down. The second nugget of life is that we need to appreciate the power of starting small. This is from Iron Mike Tyson, the former wife with champion. He's the one telling us, appreciate the power of starting small. Most of the times we want to start big and want to finish within seconds, just like a microwave. But you know, you cannot cook. You cannot cook with a microwave. You can only warm with a microwave. But the problem with us is that we want we want to cook with a microwave. We want to simmer with a microwave. It doesn't work that way. Life is not microwaved. Life simmers anyway. So for life to simmer, we're supposed to start with small steps. That's uh, that is nugget number two. Number three, the importance of your people. You need to notice the importance of your people. You cannot do things alone. There are some people that are special to you. Intimate people. Close people. They are critical to your life. Notice who those people are. They might not be more than two. They might not be more than three. Let me just say they might not be more than three. Jesus Christ had three of them. John and Peter and... uh, uh, Forget the other guy. Just three guys. In a circle. For Mike Tyson, it was his wife. 
Number number four, which we dwelt on quite a bit, is that you need to be alert. This is powerful. You need to be alert to confront, to recognize the moment to confront your conditioning. You need to be alert to recognize the the moment you need to confront your conditioning. And we did that in the past two episodes. So it was absolutely powerful. You can go back there and just just, just check out, out the, the two episodes. Today, let us deal with one. Nugget number five from Mike Tyson. Allow the pool of life to respond to your push. This man, I don't know where he get, got these things from. He, he, it's like it's just life wisdom. He says, allow the push. And by the way, he was not, let me just say this. This is a disclaimer. He was not, he did not organize his points up to 19 nuggets. No, he was just talking. He was just being interviewed by Joe Rogan. And he was just talking. It is me who was dissecting them and analyzing them. And so I found him saying that allow the pool of life to respond to your push. So as already explained, initially Mike Tyson had no idea, had no idea in February 2020 that he would be fighting in November 2020. He didn't know. He did not know. (laughs) The trouble at hand was his weight. And it was his inner circle, his wife, who told him, work out for 15 minutes. That's the genesis of all these things. And that became two hours a day, according to Mike Tyson. It became two hours a day. And in those two hours, in the throats, and when he was immersed in those two hours, someone asked him to fight. So you, you can see that the end result we are getting is from a series of events. Uh, one rung after another. One level after another. That's how life happens to us. Probably where you are at at the moment, you're pushing for something. And at some point in time, you need to recognize that life is also, he says what? Allow the pull of life. Life is also pulling back. And when you allow life to pull back and you respond to the life pulling back and you push again to the commensurate level of life's pull, that's how you progress. See, you cannot control everything in life. There are two major forces we live. I mean, when we're experiencing life, there are two major forces we live with, even when we are unaware. First, there is this force of pushing, the pushing force. This is the action that we take. It is up to us to push. Especially if that action is inspired. I don't know what it is that you're pushing today. I am pushing this podcast. It's been three, four years. Not a single cent earned from it. But I've been pouring my blood, sweat and tears. That's not, that's the push. This is the action that we take, especially if it's inspired. And we are totally in control of what is happening in the push. It is smack in the middle of our docket maybe you're working out for your health that's up to you maybe you're pushing your starter that's up to you you're totally in control of it the problem with us is that we want to get the pool of life with absolutely no push from our end that's not how life is going to work and i know some of us are steeped into wanting miracles to happen i can do the miracle today do you know if you gave me 20 million dollars right now as a miracle do you know i'll not say no i'll not say no that oh i've not worked for it i've not pushed so i don't want it hey are you kidding me i want it i'll take it unfortunately for me the 20 million dollars in life is not going to come as a miracle without some kind of push that's not generally how life works. It works, I mean, in once in a blue moon and for one in a billion, someone will get $20 million for doing nothing. But generally, there's got to be a push which I am control of. The pushing force is a powerful force when it's activated. The fact that we are in control of it means that we can still ignore it. 
and we do it a lot maybe daily you're supposed to push in terms of push-ups <laughs> so that your stomach cannot be the big like it is you're supposed to pray and study the bible so that your spirit can be lean and alive and sensitive and active and joyous and healthy and whole that's the push but you ignore it we can ignore these things the push because we are in control of it that's why some people's potential end up doing absolutely nothing about it they do nothing about it and the force is always in their hands the pushing force is always in their hands it's always a decision away a microsecond of a decision away your push is to write the pull is to make your best seller but there is no best seller without the, the book the pull of the universe is the other force and oh what a force this is this is when the universe recognizes your push and responds in ways that you cannot even begin to imagine you cannot even plan I know we do market research and we do th- th- all these things scientific things that we try to do and so on but we cannot specifically tell how many people are going to buy you don't know how many people are going to listen and download this episode you don't know how many are going to share it you don't know in whose ears is going to land you don't know that's the pool of life that's up to life it's not up to you what is up to you is to create the episode you don't know you don't know and before we initiate everything is in a lull nothing happens until there is a push but once we push once we take action a tapestry of conniving pull forces in the universe in this world in the atmosphere in the spirit in the physical arena in the invisible world in the visible world they come to your aid they come to your aid and they stand to help you in manners ways you cannot even calculate you can you cannot put calculations onto this and don't stand in the way of the poor forces because of your conditioning we talked about conditioning yesterday and the previous day allow the flow to take you to places the pool of life to take you to places you did not even believe you could get even those places that you vowed never to go like mike tyson did not know he's going to fight in november and it was february do you know how much it takes to prepare for a fight and this is a man who had not been in the ring for decades he allowed the pool of life to respond to his push before you initiate everything is in a lull but when you take action a tapestry of conniving pull forces by the universe they push and they rush to your aid it is instructive to note that mike tyson says something in the aftermath of his fight with joy the roy jones junior later on he said after fighting roy it's going to be the beginning what happens happens now that's a man who understands that for every action there is an equal but opposite reaction but his action is what he's in control of but he's also telling us to be sensitive to the uh, crescendo of events to the what do they call it this this something uh, they normally call uh, uh, I forgot its name the chain reaction of life that is now the pull the chain reaction of life that is reacting to your push it is Im- important for us to note and to be sensitive that this is this is a reaction from my push and we also respond in equal measure and that's the spirit of allowing the collaborating forces of life to work for you so there is always going to be a synergy between these two forces the pull force is powerful but at the same time it is also very useless if you and I don't take our part and push so what are we learning initiate and when things start aligning allow let it flow 
that is it for today. Tomorrow, we'll do another one. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.